Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so happy to be with you again for another lesson. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and looking forward to giving you this new story. It's about the wise men that visit baby Jesus. Okay, let's get comfortable and let's get started. So when baby Jesus was born, God created a big, beautiful white star to show everyone where he was. And you know what? The star kind of looked like this. Show you a picture. It was a big, white, shiny star. The blue is all the sky and the white star is the star. Some people called it the star of Bethlehem. Okay, so it was bright and bigger than all the other stars ever in the sky. And you know what? The three wise men saw it while they were traveling and they said, that must be a very special star. It looks very different. It must be for a brand new king that's just born. So they said to themselves, let's go find him and we could worship him. So they followed the star and right underneath the star was where baby Jesus was born. Do you remember from the previous lesson? Baby Jesus was born in a manger in Bethlehem with St. Mary, his mom, and St. Joseph, his father. So that's what happened. So these three wise men, they called them kings. I kind of think they look like this. Look at them. They are three wise men. And what do they have in their hands? They have gifts for Jesus. Well, the first one brought Jesus some gold. We've heard of gold. We know that it's very precious. And the other one brought him some frankincense. Uh, frankincense is very precious also, something they used a lot back then. And the last one brought him some myrrh. That's also quite precious. And those are wonderful gifts to give to Jesus. Because guess what Jesus is? Who is he? He is our king. He is the king. And he's got many names, so I know you know a lot of them. So let's just go over some of them. So he is, he is the redeemer. Um, how about the savior? How about our Father, Jesus? How about God? Those are just some of the words, names that we use to call Jesus. So they found him after, after a very long journey. It took them days and days to travel to find him and get there. You know, those days they didn't have cars, so they had to actually travel on camels. And it was quite a distance, so riding on camels took a while. But finally, they got there and they saw baby Jesus in the manger with St. Mary and offered their gifts and worshiped him. So I'll show you another little picture. How about this picture right here? So what are they sitting on? They're sitting on camels. How many are there? There are three. And what did they look up in the sky and see? They saw the star. And what's so special about this star We've seen lots of stars in the skies, right? So many of them, hundreds of them. But this one is what? It is the largest. It is the whitest. And it is the shiniest. And they said, that must be a very special star. 
let's go to where it is and worship the newborn king. And who is the newborn king? Jesus. Jesus is the newborn king. So that's the story of the three wise men or the three kings, because they were kings. They really were. So I know it's a special time, Christmas. We love to sing carols and have special food and get presents. But guess what? The biggest present for us is who? Baby Jesus. So whenever you think of him, just think of him. He used to be a baby, just like you used to be a baby, but he was very special. Okay, and always think of Christmas time as Jesus' birthday. Kind of like when you have a birthday, it's really special to you and to your parents and your family. Well, we are Jesus' family, so it's special to us too, because it's Jesus' birthday. So in the Bible, I would like you to ask your mommy or daddy to look up in the book of Matthew 2, 2. It says, we have seen his star. So please, whenever you get a chance, let your mommy or daddy know that you would like to see that again. And maybe she can read it again to you and refresh your memory about this story. So this is one of the best stories in the Bible. One of the happiest times is when Jesus was born. Okay, so it brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope that you will have a wonderful and happy week to be safe and have a good time with your families if you're still on Christmas vacation. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you again next week for another lesson, God willing. Okay, so don't forget to pray tonight. Don't forget, remember, you're supposed to pray in the morning when you first open your eyes. What are you supposed to say? Even if you just say, good morning, Jesus, that's fine. And then tonight, try to get to bed before you're just so sleepy you just can't keep your eyes open because you need a couple minutes to be alert so you can pray and share with God all that's happened for that day okay so my angels be well and God willing I'll see you next week In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit one God. Amen. See you next week, God willing. Till then.